So here's a whiteboard pro tip concerning the difference between exporting a whiteboard page as a picture or PDF and actually saving a whiteboard page as an actual whiteboard file. Uh, and I know that it sounds like it's the same thing, but there is actually a clear dis uh, distinction between the two. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So if I have a whiteboard page like this, and I go ahead, I'll just put something on it, like so. Now I've got a couple of options for, for keeping this. Export, which is one, one of the ways to access it, is this button down here. It looks like a QR code with an arrow going up that way. And I give that a touch. And that allows me to export as a picture or a PDF. And that's fine if all I'm really looking for is a snapshot or, or a document that I can actually save and then, and then put someplace else. This is a perfectly easy way to do it. But if I have a situation where I'm creating a whiteboard file and I've got one or more pages and I want to actually be able to keep coming back to those pages and edit what's on them, I need to actually save these as a whiteboard file. Because when you save as a picture or PDF, you can import those back into the whiteboard, but you can't actually edit them. Uh, so if you want to actually have the ability to edit pages continually, have what I often refer to as a living whiteboard, then you want to choose the save as function. And here's how you access it. Right next door to that QR code button, I've got a button that looks like three dots in a row, and I give that a touch. And I've got this file tab right here in the corner, and you can see I've got my options. Export, that's another place I can do it. But save as right above, that's what I'm looking for in this case. And I can name it whatever I want. In this case, I'll just leave it as it is. Go ahead and give it next. You can use a thumb drive if you want to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and save it to the panel. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and choose this downloads folder, though obviously you have options. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then here it is. Give it an OK. And then it actually saves that now as a whiteboard file. If I want to open it back up again so I can edit, I go right back to that options menu, choose open, navigate to the folder, and I can open it as a file so I can edit the whiteboard pages I've created.